Hello and welcome back to the channel. So while we've seen areas around the country that have experienced some major, major flooding um, that includes the, the tragic loss of life, uh, there are still those areas that are battling this heat, okay? And in California, this heat has resulted in a wildfire, okay? It says California becomes state's largest amid stifling heat wave, but is also suspected in seven deaths, this heat wave and these fires. So uh, this is in keeping with what the scripture says. Biblical prophecy tells us that the sun is going to scorch the earth. So for those of you who don't believe in global warming, it doesn't matter if you call it global warming or biblical prophecy. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. We see exactly what the Bible said would happen happening in these last days. Uh, the sun is scorching the earth and it's only going to get worse as temperatures continue to rise. And we're going to keep seeing these droughts. We're going to continue to see these wildfires. And again, this is biblical prophecy. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It is what it is, right? So let's get into what is happening in California. <clears throat> So right now, California fire becomes state's largest amid stifling heat wave suspected in seven deaths. Um, it says the size of California's McKinney fire surpassed that of a blaze to the south overnight to become the state's largest of 2022. So let me enlarge this just a little bit. <clears throat> Um, it says the 51,000 plus acre blaze near the state's northern border has thrived on deadly heat in the Pacific Northwest that has preliminarily been linked to the deaths of seven people in Oregon. On Saturday, uh, the governor proclaimed a state of emergency for the county. It unlocks additional state and federal fire funding, I'm sorry, firefighting and recovery funds. Um, it was only a week ago that 19,000 acre oak fire about 400 miles south in Mariposa County uh, became the state's largest of the year. That blaze, roughly 40 miles from the edge of Yosemite National Park, was 64% contained Sunday. Okay, uh, late afternoon heat in Oregon adjacent uh, Sask Saskatchewan County was measured at 99 degrees on Sunday. A red flag warning which tells residents the most volatile wildfire conditions are present and an excessive heat warning were in effect though late. It says, it says though, but it, I guess they mean were in effect through late Sunday evening. Okay, uh, right there. So while officials reported to the McKinney fire seemed to mellow slightly Saturday night amid the um, added darkness of a toxic fog known as smoke inversion, it roared back to life past midnight and continued to threaten an estimated 400 structures according to the U.S. Forest Service update Sunday. Okay, so the prognosis of the new week was a mixed bag. Federal and state fire officials fear the prospect of dry lightning from thunderstorms moving into the area through at least Wednesday. The National Weather Service forecast a small chance of rain in the mix for Monday. And dry lightning has the potential to expand the McKinney Fire's footprint, officials said. In fact, it already happened overnight with a strike near Doggett Creek, uh, north of the main fire. U.S. Fire Service, I'm sorry, Forest Service officials said in their latest report. So as we continue to see these events unfolding in the country, as we continue to see these events unfolding, we better keep our eyes open because there is more to come. There is absolutely more to come. And it all lines up with biblical prophecy. Um, as biblical prophecy unfolds, we have got to get our houses in order. Now, I know many of you who live in California, again, you're, you're used to this sort of thing. Uh, these sorts of things happen, right? 
but there is going to be an escalation of these events worldwide not just in california not just in oregon not just the flooding that we saw in kentucky and the flood flooding that um, has been in other regions of the country as well in north carolina the the flooding that we saw there displaced a lot of people from their homes but we are going to continue to see this stuff all around the world because biblical prophecy is definitely unfolding so um, as I say often, it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It doesn't matter if you accept it. <laughs> it is what it is. And I don't know about y'all, but um, <clears throat> as I see these things uh, that have been folding over the unfolding over the past three years, um, it has certainly made me more aware. Of all, I was already aware of biblical prophecy, but it has made me more aware wanting to make sure that I am doing what it is I must do, uh, not only for myself, but my family as well. And so I hope that these events that you see unfolding are enough to shake you a little bit, enough to wake you up, enough to give you some concern that things are not going back to what you call normal, um, that prophecy is unfolding faster than we've ever seen it before. Yes, this is true. This is true. I hope this is enough for you to repent. Okay, and get your house in order with the Most High. Um, I know that uh, some of you who uh, listen to this channel, you are not believers. Okay, hopefully some of this will uh, cause you to want to seek the Most High and at least get, get an understanding of what's happening in the world that you live in. Um, things are unfolding fast. Okay, um, not just with the natural disasters, but other things as well. Um, the scripture talks about distress of nations in the last days. It talks about the weather patterns and the signs that we must look for. And so I'm looking for all of these signs um, everywhere. I wake up in the morning, you know, first of all, acknowledging the Most High and being grateful for the new day. But I also look for what is happening in the world, what is happening in the world around us. We must remain aware, okay? So again, this report is concerning the California wildfires and the blaze that uh, possibly killed seven people. So far, you see, um, there's more to come. Keep your eyes open. It is what it is. Okay, whether you accept it or not, it is what it is. The truth will always be. So that is my report on this um, situation for now. Until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.